vlog is on waiting for God's sovereign timing in your life. Who likes waiting? Raise your hand if you do. Oh wait, I don't see any hands raised. That's right, no one likes waiting. I mean, heck guys, one of my favorite social media platforms is called Instagram. We have two day Amazon Prime shipping, which that's a blessing, but that's another story for another vlog. Um, you got instant mac and cheese, the instant ability to check our texts and emails, and so waiting is not something that's highly prized in our culture and our lives, but, but God just been bringing that to my mind lately as we head into the Christmas season. Yes, I know it's not quite Halloween, but I love Christmas because it means that the Messiah comes, that he breaks us free from the chains of sin and death so that we can follow him victoriously and joyfully into the roles that each of us uniquely have to play in his kingdom as God seeks to call all people to himself. So to me that seems like a pretty big reason to celebrate the Christmas season early. But anyway, I digress. I wanted to talk to you guys about some examples of waiting that I see in scripture. You know, you have um, Abraham and um, Sarah who waited years um, for their son Isaac to be born. And yes, um, they they might have tried to engineer circumstances, you could say, in having their uh, firstborn son through Hagar, but but in the majority of the story, they, they were they were faithful to wait on God and His timing, even when they didn't understand. They 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 brought God their questions. They wrestled with Him, but ultimately they rested in His plan. And I think that's what God's um been trying to teach me lately to be I'm like God. What's the next step you have um for my life? Do you want me? to write a book? Do you want me to blog? Do you want me to vlog? Do you want me to speak? What about getting a PhD? All, all these questions. And, and the one thing I keep hearing is God saying, Emily, I just want you to be faithful in this next moment. What, whatever I've called you to. So whether I'm having a conversation with a friend or working on a product or PowerPoint or something, I'm just trying to be faithful in the moment. Sure, my type A personality might like to see the next hundred steps, but God's word says, like, your word um, is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. It doesn't say that your word um, is a 365-day pl planner that shows me the next 500 steps. It's a, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, so let's be faithful in that next thing. Think of... Mary, she, when the angel Gabriel came and told her that she was going to carry the son of the Most High, I'm sure she had plenty of questions. What is Joseph going to say about this? Am I going to be stoned? Um, what's it going to feel like when the Holy Spirit comes upon me? What about birthing a baby? I'm a teenager! Ah! But like, but she was, she was faithful in that she went to, she went and visited Elizabeth and you know, they, Elizabeth and Mary both had um, unusual circumstances within their pregnancies, but I, but I believe that God used them both to encourage each other to continue to seek the Lord and just be patiently waiting. So um, if I could encourage you guys, if you're waiting for something, whether it's waiting to decide what your college major should be, where like where you should go to grad school, like what, like whatever your next step is, just try to find someone who's in your similar life circumstances and just say, hey, would you, would you commit to just pointing me to the Lord and sharing scripture and prayer and just we'll seek the Lord together in these next steps. So I guess in the comments below, if you want to share with me what you're waiting for God to show you, Please tell me and I'd be happy to listen. Thanks so much. Bye.